You know something is truly awful when people tell you how bad it is but still feel like you weren't sufficiently warned. That's how awful Taiketsu is. Just looking at the terrible screenshots Hello. Yeah, what the fuck? cannot convey how bad this game feels to play. And given that this is a fighting game, a genre that relies on responsive controls, that isn't bloody good. Broly, the legendary Super Saiyan, Cell, Frieza, Boo. Looks like it's time to find your inner evil. Dragon Ball Z Taiketsu for Nintendo Game Boy Advance. If you've got a favorite character, you've got to fight. Rated Team. Dragon Ball Z Taiketsu was released in 2003 for the Game Boy Advance. It was developed by Webfoot Technologies, whose name might sound familiar to you, as they are also the developers behind The Legacy of Goku, which, if you have seen my retrospective on that game, you will know that it's fucking crap! But they are also responsible for making its sequel, The Legacy of Goku 2, a GBA classic. So they are capable of making great games, if they are given the opportunity to. The key word being if, but unfortunately for Taiketsu, they were not. Tragedy, ain't it? With the success of Budokai on consoles, Atari was like, Why make trillions when we could make... Billion? A trillion is more than a billion, numbnuts. Alright, zip it. And put Wetfoot Technologies to work on developing a Dragon Ball Z fighting game for the Game Boy Advance. At the same time, they are working on the Legacy of Goku 2 and an unreleased PS2 title known as Saiyan Smash. Imagine the meeting about it going something like this. Hey, Webfoot. Yeah, we're also gonna need you to make a Dragon Ball Z fighting game for the Game Boy Advance. Uh, oh, oh, okay. And uh, we're gonna need that tomorrow. <laughs> you, you mean tomorrow in a metaphorical sense, right? I have to go now. My planet needs me. Having a small team juggling multiple projects at once and tight deadlines, it is no surprise that Taiketsu came out in the state it did, with some even considering it the worst Dragon Ball Z game of all time, even worse than Sagas. Shit. Taiketsu is the ugliest Dragon Ball Z game I have ever seen. I mean, look at it. Look at it! The team employed an approach similar to that found in the Donkey Kong Country games to make the sprites, where they would convert pre-rendered frames from 3D models into sprites. Done correctly, this technique can look great. Done poorly, and you get this. These proportions are completely off, giving the character short stumpy arms and giant heads. The animations are stiff and awkward, contributing to the terrible game feel. There are sky battles that can sometimes occur, and the animations during them look so stupid. It's like stop motion action figures without in-between frames. Just awful. At least the backgrounds look pretty decent. Oh, and also the characters make absolutely no sounds while being wailed on. They just suffer in silence, like many kids probably did while playing this. But hey, it may look like shit, but that doesn't mean that it plays like shit, right? Wrong! The controls are simple enough to get a grasp of, but they are incredibly unresponsive. Your commands are treated more like suggestions, making even the simplest of moves a pain in the ass to perform. All of the characters feel the same to play, with only their special attacks offering anything unique. Tournament mode I guess would be considered the main mode, but it isn't like a world martial arts tournament like you see in most other Dragon Ball Z games. It's more akin to an arcade mode where you fight against 7 random characters. At the end you get a little story text crawl and will sometimes unlock a new character. If you have a link cable, you can participate in fights against another player, because misery loves company I guess. There are several other modes to play through and a lot of unlockables, but I don't care. I'm not playing this anymore. I haven't even played Kakarot yet and I'm sitting here wasting my time with this shit. What am I even doing with my life?